Hi, my name is Gaurav and I love to make and fly RC planes. 10 months ago, I decided to build a VTOL aka vertical takeoff and landing RC plane. So firstly, I designed a VTOL plane in 3D software uh, based upon my knowledge of 3D designing. Uh, I was going to use 4 1300 kV motors to lift up my plane from the ground and for forward flight thrust all four motors would tilt horizontally to produce forward thrust after reaching above the stall speed so i used some 3d printed parts and four servos for all four motors respectively for tilt mechanism at that time my estimate maximum takeoff weight of the plane was 1.5 kg which is near 3.3 pounds and for airfoil of the wing i chose sd 7037 airfoil uh, it is uh, a low Reynolds number airfoil and after analyzing this airfoil in XFLR software it showed uh, some good results for forward flight for uh, 1.5 kg plane with 1.5 meters of wing span at lower Reynolds number okay for fuselage I used uh, balsa and 5 mm thick Depron sheets uh, I was concerned about bending of fuselage due to weight of the plane so I used 5 mm thick balsa sheet for base of the fuselage and to st strengthen it more I layered it with glass fiber cloth uh, with the mixture of resin and wood hardener uh, To build wings, I used uh, high density XPS foam and I cut it with DIY 4-axis CNC hot wire cutter which I made uh, for this project um, but in my opinion if uh, you build RC planes with foam uh, and uh, you want to reduce weight so don't go with xps foam uh, because it is although rigid and strong but it is heavy instead use instead of it use uh, eps foam of uh, density or uh, of density of 24 gram per liter uh, it is all also strong uh, and you can make it uh, much stronger uh, after layering it with uh, tape or laminating over it okay when 80 percent work was done of building the VTOL then I measured the plane's weight and it was 2.3 kg uh, which was supposed to be 1.5 kg but it was much higher the 2.3 kg weight uh, was with 6s 3300 milliamp lipo battery and it is not bad for this sized VTOL but as per data showing in XFLR software, the airfoil I chose for my plane's wing was not able to produce enough, enough lift for 2.3 kg plane in forward flight at lower speeds. But um, the plane was uh, almost complete so I gave it a try. Uh, it took it took me two or three weeks to fully understand the parameter settings in mission planner software for tilt rotor vtol uh, and thanks to painless 360 youtube channel uh, from where i got a lot of necessary information from the video series named vtol basics when the when the vtol plane was built completely with all electronics installed i was uh, pretty excited and it was time to test it I was nervous also at my first VTOL hover test because uh, one wrong command could enti entirely destroy the plane without me even seeing the plane uh, doing something uh, like hovering uh, so uh, okay this was my first hover test uh, what happened 
When I increased the throttle to lift off the plane from the ground, it was shaking when I gave 20% throttle or um, about 20% throttle. So something was not right and I took the plane back to home and asked one of my friends for solution who have some experience in quadcopter flying and uh, he told me that there was not an issue in the build quality of the plane but I should check PID tuning. So I again thoroughly checked all the parameters in Mission Planner and I got to know that mid channel for channel 3 was set to highest number which was causing total input instantly increasing about 20% directly to 60% or above. I don't know how could I not see this although I checked it twice anyway after uh, setting this correctly to actual mid position I again went to hot test my plane this time on my house test when I test it when I tested it now vibration of the plane was gone and again I filled with hope that my plane could at least hover steadily So this was my third attempt to hover test the plane in the air. What happened? Again the same problem arose of the plane shaking but this time at about 60% throttle input and the plane did not even lift off vertically up in the air. At this point, I should land the plane by giving input of Q land so that the plane and the, the flight controller installed in plane uh, do it by itself to gradually decrease it, its height. But I cut off the throttle instantly and the plane fell down like a stone. Although there was no severe damage to the plane, but I was done and I thought of making another VTOL with. 4 plus 1 configuration which is much easier than tilt rotor mechanism. See you next time. Bye.